Russian anime characters are some of the most occasional in terms of how often they show up. While Russian characters aren't always the main characters, which makes sense, they do have relevant roles in some anime. More so when the role involves action or something similar. Here's a list of characters worth mentioning. At number 10, we have Simon Brezhnev from Dura Simon is a pacifist and has a gentle, friendly manner. He often tries to stop fights or convince people to abandon their conflicts, often appearing before distraught characters and telling them to eat sushi to satisfy their hunger and calm themselves down. This is most likely due to his past in the Soviet Union. He came from a cruel world into the relative peace of Ikibukuro, and he believes that young people in Japan should not have to fight and die like they do in Russia. When talking to Isaiah Orihara about his antics in the city, he usually speaks in Russian to avoid others hearing what he is talking about and being frightened. At number 9, we have Clara from Girls on Panzer Der Film. Clara is a very calm girl as she never raises her voice or loses her temper. Even during unfavorable conditions during Sinsha Do matches, everything she does is with the same measured grace and calculated resolve. She is more social compared to Nona in a practical manner, even interacting with students of other schools. She appears to enjoy non-alcoholic vodka as she holds a bottle in the end of the movie after Orari Girls Academy's victory against the All-Stars University team. And according to Nona, she was drinking it when she mistakenly signed the transfer papers to Pravida. Clara speaks Russian and she has a habit to talk with Nona in this language, which annoys Katyusha. At number 8, we have Laura Bodwig from Infinite Stratos. She is initially seen as a tough person who absolutely despised Ichika for making his sister, Shifu Orimura, forfeit the match. Laura believes Shifu should have rightfully won. She has a major superiority complex surrounding her identity as a super soldier, as she often remarks that surrounding people's abilities are second rate. She insulted Cecilia Alcott and Ling Ying Huang during their first fight, saying that she has a hard time believing people like them possess third generation ISs. She comments that they come from countries that boast of numbers, but no talent, or whose only redeeming quality is their ancient culture. At number 7, we have Balalika from Black Lagoon. Due to Balalika's leadership during the hellish fighting in Afghanistan, her men looked up to her as their superior and will do just about anything upon her orders. As a combat officer, she is a skilled strategist and well-rounded fighter, capable of taking care of herself, despite the fact all of her troopers, including Boris, often worry for her. Although she has shown herself to be rather cynical on occasion, she is also a pragmatic, opportunistic, and professional businesswoman. She is also downright ruthless, willing to go to whatever means to get what she wants. She frequently employs Dutch and the Lagoon Company, apparently because they share a mutual respect. At number 6, we have Anastasia Nasuhara from Oni Ai. Anastasia Nasuhara is a St. Liliana High School second year student and the vice president of the student council. She is the daughter of the owner of Nasuhara Industry, a worldwide company. Anastasia is half Russian and half American with blonde twin tails. 
She has a cold personality and often asks strange questions. For example, asking Akito if he was a cherry boy, a term for a virgin, when they first meet. She is Akiko's rival and proud that she wins a little in almost everything, including height, grades, breast size, rank during the Miss St. Liliana High School election, and student council rank. Hey, why don't you say something, Russia? You'll stop fighting if you go over and step in. What? Why me? No thanks. I want to see Lithuania get in big trouble and come crawling back for help. <laughs> then Latvia will be right behind. At number five, we have Russia from Hitelia Axis Powers, a large young man who is seemingly big hearted and innocent, but is in reality childishly cruel, often coming off as villainous to those who fear him. He comes off as intimidating without even saying a word, his gentle smile and disposition only intensifying the aura of dread which seems to constantly hang over him. In a recent profile from the third volume of the published manga, Russia was described as gentle and naive, and not malicious, but insane. Russia ends many of his sentences with da, the Russian word for yes, although in Japanese it is often used to confirm the topic of the sentence as an informal form of desu, the ubiquitous form of to be. At number four, we have Lev Haiba from Haiku. He is shown to be quite childish and cheerful, as displayed by making fun of and pointing out Hinata and Yaku's height, along with the contrast they hold to him and other players. Lev's appearance, as well as his piercing eyes, causes people to believe he is much more intimidating and serious than he actually is. Though he can be extremely blunt, often offending others without realizing, he never seems to mean any real harm and adopts a playful attitude towards most things. He is also shown to be enthusiastic about spiking, as he gets excited about it very easily and can be competitive with people he is interested in. <laughs> At number three, we have Katyusha from Girls on Panzer. Katyusha is well known for her arrogant and childlike personality, most likely due to her small height. She feels she has to stand above anyone else, friend or foe alike. While her arrogance is backed up by her tactical skill, it sometimes gets the better of her. She also does not hide her emotions well openly venting her anger when things don't go her way and crying right after her defeat by Orari Girls Academy and denying it out of embarrassment when Nona gave her a towel to wipe her tears. At number two, we have Yuri Poletsky from Yuri on Ice. Yuri is a very ambitious boy who is determined to become the best of the best in figure skating. Contrary to his beauty and grace on the ice, once Yuri steps out of the rink, he becomes foul-mouthed, rude, and dismissive of others, earning him his second nickname, the Russian Punk. To ensure he gets what he wants, Yuri is not above threatening or intimidating his competition. He is short-tempered, and very accustomed to yelling. Yuri is both very critical of himself and determined to impress Victor. He despises being underestimated and projects a strong air of confidence, strong enough to come across as arrogance instead. At number one, we have Victor Nikifrov from Yuri on Ice. Victor has the captivating kind of celebrity charisma and is naturally flirtatious. His well-known strength is his penchant for breathtaking new creations and surprising his audience. Though he pushes himself and is constantly trying to better his skills, he likes doing things at his own pace and in other areas is generally an easygoing, free-spirited young man who doesn't really take well to orders. Victor's also a bit of an airhead, and according to himself, and Yuri Poletsky tends to forget a lot of things, 
as Yuri Katsuki sees proof of after he forgets what the stakes of the Hot Springs on Ice event were. Well, that's it for the list. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out my other videos. Bye!